Hello everyone and welcome to this episode of Ignition Time. Think of this as the latest episode of the DC Comedy Hour, which actually I, I introduced that on YouTube. And the DC Comedy Hour consists of unbelievable news pertaining to Washington DC, pertaining to our country, the economy as well as our money, that honestly is actually extremely hard to make up. Originally, I have to be completely honest, I was not going to make this video because in this video, I am going to talk about an individual called Sidney Powell. Uh, and the reason I was not going to make this video is because I believe some people are absolutely bananas. But the reason I decided to make this video is because things are changing in our country and things are happening that you absolutely would not believe. Thank you so much for being a viewer and a subscriber to our channel. Welcome to this episode of Ignition Time. If you learn something new, please click the like button. Please subscribe. Please enable notifications. It helps out the YouTube algorithm. Let's just jump right in. Let's start with this tweet on your screen from Elena Treen, who's a congressional reporter for Axios. The House chamber is being transformed into a safe room. This is where the business of the House of Representatives is conducted. It is going to be transformed into a safe room for members with the addition of bulletproof Doors, yes, bulletproof doors. In fact, let's show you this article on your screen that is published by Axios. And as always, you'll get a link to all of our articles in the description section below, all of our resources. The house chamber is going to be hardened with bullet bulletproof doors and they're going to be reinforced with Kevlar. Now, if you thought that was interesting, wait till you check out this article on your screen from Politico. Trump's sit down with Ohio candidates turns into Hunger Games. I'm actually going to quote something that one of the candidates for the Senate said in an effort to win the support of uh, former President Trump. But basically, the former president summoned four candidates for the state's open Senate seat in Ohio in, in, a, in a scene that happened this week that resembled uh, essentially a scene out of The Apprentice. But I think that scene was more like The Hunger Games. One of the contenders was the former state treasurer for the state of Ohio. His name's Josh Mandel. So what happened at this meeting, this fundraiser that took place earlier this week was as these candidates were mingling at a pre-cocktail dinner reception, they were essentially told that the former president wanted to huddle with them in a room just off of the lobby. And you're going to find this hard to believe, but this actually transpired in that room. Here's something that Mandel said at the meeting, and this was reported by Politico. I'll provide you with a link to the entire article in the description section below. So check out the link in the description. Mandel said this, Mr. President, I only know two ways to do things, either not at all or balls to the wall. I hired a bunch of killers on my team. I'm a killer and we're going to win the primary and then the general. Yes. This is the kind of language that took place at that meeting. Now let's shift gears and talk about someone who's rather interesting and extremely bizarre, Sidney Powell, who was on former President Trump's campaign team. And she said a lot of unbelievable things that a lot of people believe. I've, I've been seeing viewers' comments on our channel and a lot of people actually believed what she said. And she basically just recently said, oh, no reasonable person would have believed me. That was part of her defense. Here's the headline of an article on your screen from the Washington Post. Sidney Powell does an about face on her stop the steal claims. Now, I want our viewers and subscribers to understand that if you simply type in Sidney Powell on YouTube, you're going to see a bunch of absolutely crazy headlines that are hard to believe. And you'll see them on your screen right now as we scroll down the list of videos that you'll get if you search for Sidney Powell on YouTube. She has said some things that are hard to believe. She has said some things on different networks. And she has said some things which at times you, you kind of get the feeling, is she just saying that to get on the news? I mean, does it even make sense? Does she believe what she's saying? Will other people believe what she says? And now she's saying that no reasonable person would have believed what I had said. And that is part of her response, her defense, if you will, against a defamation lawsuit filed against her by the Dominion company. And, and a lot of people believe that this could put her in legal jeopardy and could endanger her law license. Here's another headline, this time from Bloomberg. Trump's election lawyer throws him under the bus. Sidney Powell is trying a brazen and bizarre argument in defending herself against a defamation lawsuit by Dominion Voting Systems. And here's a quote from the Bloomberg article. The defense is legally wrong. Her statements were clearly assertions of fact and they were believed by many members of the public. Folks, this is dangerous misinformation and I'm, I'm surprised that uh, that A, she said what she said and B, she's saying, oh, no reasonable person would have believed me. I believe that she thinks the American people are stupid. I know it's a very strong comment, but this is what I believe based on the behavior from, from Sidney Powell. 
Here's another comment from the article. Nevertheless, it is a fascinating argument and acknowledgement that any claim associated with Trump could be considered mere bluster, even when framed in actual terms. In short, Powell's defense is to throw Trump under the bus. The basic idea, he is a known liar that any assertion made on his behalf in an election cannot be taken as remotely plausible. Folks, I'm quoting the article, so please don't blame the messenger. Here's a different headline, this time from Vox. Sidney Powell gives up the game, admits Trump's election conspiracies were not factual. In response to Dominion's defamation lawsuit, Powell's lawyers say that reasonable people would not believe any of her claims. Just unbelievable that I'm even reporting this. Folks, my imagination is not that vivid. I could not make up this stuff even if I wanted to. I believe that we are likely to see a book, maybe a movie about everything that went on with the Trump campaign that went on during the Trump presidency. And I believe there's probably going to be a short mini series on Sidney Powell alone and she'll probably get paid quite nicely for it. Such is the capitalist system in our country. And as you can imagine, many news networks are not happy. Here's another article from the Washington Post. Sidney Powell will never live down her no reasonable person defense. In other words, she's saying no reasonable person could have believed what I had to say. Folks, I don't think that Sidney Powell cares what the Washington Post says, but I'm making this video even though I originally did not want to make this video because I think that some people are absolutely bananas and I think we have a responsibility as fellow Americans to understand and to use our judgment to distinguish reality from lies and fabrication. And you'll see this headline on your screen from CNN. CNN went so far as to say that Sidney Powell's defense in the defamation suit could put her in legal jeopardy. In fact, an expert on the First Amendment, Ted Buttress of Gibson Dunn, said in the article that there could be legal, dire legal implications for Sidney Powell. He said, the First Amendment provides strong protections for statements of opinion. But what Dominion is pointing to is the fact that Ms. Powell was declaring that she had evidence of this. She did say she had evidence of this and that election malfeasance, meaning election shenanigans, and that she was declaring, in other words, what she was implying was a matter of fact, not a matter of opinion. The First Amendment does not protect knowingly false statements of fact, which is why, which is why Sidney Powell could be in legal jeopardy. And now I want our viewers and subscribers to know why I decided to make this video. Although originally I wasn't going to, I wasn't going to give Sidney Powell any airtime on our channel. This tweet on your screen from Eve Fairbanks, who, who is a columnist and who writes, this got me thinking because it was brought to my attention by one of our viewers and subscribers. Eve said, this makes me violently angry. My own mother believes Sidney Powell. I'm so angry people like Powell claim like they are the patriots. They hate America. This woman thinks her country is a toy to be played with, snapped in half, and then discarded as long as it no longer charms. Folks, very strong comments from, uh, from Eve. My belief is that there are certain individuals who think that our fellow Americans are fools. Eve also says this, many conservatives now hate their own followers in the mode of classic con men. If you're stupid enough to be conned by me, you deserve it. If you claim your followers are the real Americans and you hate them, you hate America, period. Eve also says, pretty strong comments. She says, I'm angry because I know people who've been misled into honest despair about their country by these breathtakingly unpatriotic, cynical, viperous, contemporary conservatives. I'm also angry because no matter how angry I get, my anger will never be taken as seriously as theirs. Listen, I want Eve Fairbanks to know, I understand your anger. I understand you're violently angry. And you, Eve, you motivated me to create this video so that the viewers of Ignition Time could understand the depth of your passion and your emotion about this rather unbelievable individual, Sidney Powell. Thank you so much for watching, everybody. I hope you learned something new. Sidney Powell, I hope you do not watch Ignition Time. Please don't watch Ignition Time. If you do watch, please, 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 please unsubscribe Sidney Powell. As far as you are concerned, thank you so much for watching. I appreciate you. Please click the like button. Please subscribe. Please enable notifications. I want you to know that you are greatly appreciated. For me, it's not about the red or the blue. It's about the red, white and blue. I'm not Democrat. I'm not Republican. I'm American. We are all Americans first. Thank you so much for watching. Please click like. Please subscribe. Please enable notifications. I'm looking forward to seeing you in the next episode of Ignition Time. Take care. Bye.